everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel and another card making video tutorial. Today we're creating a pocket heart hug card. That's what I'm calling it anyway, with the new cow creative cuts from Mama Elephant. And I'm also incorporating some previously released product. The cow is from the January 2024 release, but I personally love mixing and matching, and so that's what we're going to do today. I am starting with this Heart Bloom stencil from Simon Says Stamp. This is a new stencil from the recent Sweetheart release, and I am taking some of the amazing Picket Fence Paper Glaze. This is in the color Cherry Blossom, and we are going to apply a little of that to or over the stencil, I guess I want to say, on a four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel of smooth white cardstock. I use a palette knife to apply or to place it on there, and then I use a stencil pal to give a nice even coating all over my background. This is creating an amazing, beautiful textured background. Super subtle, super pretty, and I can't say enough great things about the Picket Fence Paper Glazes. I love them. Now this is gonna dry really quickly, so go ahead and take your stencil, tools, all of the things, and go get those washed up before it sets on there and gets so crusty you can't get it off. That is my best advice. Then I'm going to take my die cuts. I've got my cow die cut from some textured cardstock. This is Lawn Fawn textured cardstock right here. And we're using some latte ink to add a little bit of color. Now I did get a little too uh, ink heavy in one area, as you can see. Luckily, I think we're gonna be able to disguise that so I'm not gonna worry about it too much. I like the addition of a little bit of inking around the edges as I feel like it gives so much fun texture to our cow. Included in the cow creative cuts are a couple of wavy pieces. So I die cut the cow's face again from the darker chocolate textured cardstock, then use that wavy piece to die cut a spot. You could do a spot for each side of the cow, or you could not use them at all. There's a couple of different spot options. I'm gonna use two of them. And I actually had that upside down and I figured it out, thank goodness, before that glue set too much. Then we're going to, here's the other little spot. I simply use that same piece again that I used to die cut my little spot for the left side. We're gonna add a little bit of color with cappuccino ink. Use our tweezers to place that right along the edge. And then whatever brown is left on my blending brush, I'm going to take to the cow's nose just to give it a little bit of texture and to mute that pink just a tad. Now I am using the horns for my cow as paws as well, because I am gonna be using the large pocket heart from Mama Elephant, and I want it to almost look like a giant box of Valentine's um, candies or chocolates, if you will. And so I want it to look like he is holding, or she, he or she, is holding on to this big box of chocolates. Now I want to get my ears, and I realize I have that completely upside down, so I haven't glued it down yet, thank goodness. We're going to go ahead and just add a little color to the horns add a little glue and pop those in place. And then I was like, oh yeah, see, now that looks like that goes. Sometimes you just have to flip it around. I'm adding a little bit more cappuccino ink to all of these pieces and gluing everything for the face. Now I did do all of my die cutting first. So so I've die cut all of the pieces for my cow. I've die cut the pocket and the hearts that I'm gonna layer for that. And then we will do our sentiment last. I know what I'm using and I had it all laid out so I am pretty sure it's all going to work. Now for the 
hooves of my cow. I did die cut those from the darker brown cardstock. And then from an even darker color of cardstock, I die cut them again and used the wavy border from this that I actually used for the spot on the cow to give the hooves some, a little bit more, I don't know, versatility, I suppose. I am going to glue on the gold bell. So I did die cut the bell from gold. I don't think it ends up showing up very well just because of the placement, but it is a really cute and fun accent, and I love that it's included in this set. For my hearts, I have talked about this in a couple of other videos. I'm going to show it here. I originally took a red ink. This is cherry, and I want to ink up the edges of my heart, but see how you really can't see that I've added any color? As that dries, it's not going to look like I added anything at all. So I did go ahead and end up adding mocha ink around the edges, and then I added a little bit of that cherry ink around the edges of the pink heart. I'm gonna go ahead and glue then my panel to the textured background and tuck the cow's face and hands there. As you can see, I went ahead and just glued that all down. On a scrap of the pink textured cardstock I used for the heart pocket, I'm gonna prep it with a powder tool and we will be stamping this with the special delivery greeting. What I love about this special delivery sentiment is that it has a die cut that coordinates, that die cuts the sentiment beautifully. I am stamping this, even though it's on textured cardstock, I'm stamping it with a embossing and watermark ink and I will heat emboss with red embossing powder and it is going to look spectacular. The red on the pink is going to tie into my hearts perfectly and I love it. So once I have my embossing powder, I will just go ahead and heat emboss this off camera, take my die, line it up, use a little low tack tape to hold that in place and run it through my die cutting machine. I just love how detailed this die cuts the greeting. It looks amazing. I love that there's not big blotches of pink back behind this. I think it's going to be perfect right over top of the red heart on my card. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful that looks. That is just the icing on the cake for this card. Next, I'm going to take my sentiment from the special delivery stamp set I chose to use of birthday wishes filled with love and laughter. May your special day be truly unforgettable. And I stamped that on smooth white cardstock, first with carnation ink from Simon Says Stamp. And this would have been fine. It, I probably could have used this, but when I laid it on my card, the pink just to me didn't quite go with the pinks I used for my card design. I had originally planned on using Lawn Fawn Ballet Slippers ink and at the last moment changed my mind because I used this carnation ink for the pink cheeks on my cow and thought, go ahead and use that for your greeting as well. Well, I didn't love it. <laughs> it just wasn't quite the color I wanted. So I went back to ballet slippers and stamped that instead. And I will die cut that with a sentiment label die from Simon Says Stamp. Then we're going to simply glue special delivery right on our card and glue our sentiment strip underneath it. I feel like this is going to coordinate and complement the design much better. Now, because we have already added the pink cheeks to our cow with the mini blending brush, they are small round blending brushes from Simon Says Stamp, I am gonna go ahead and use those to add color to the underside of my cow's ears too. As you're looking at the design right here, so, so cute, but there's not a layering piece for the cow ears. Now, I could have die cut them from a lighter color or even the same pink color that I used for the cow's nose and then die cut them again from brown 
trim them apart on the score line and piece them together. That's one option. You could color them in if you wanted to, or I'm actually going to take the ink that's left on my mini blending brush and we are going to add color to the underside of the ears with that carnation ink. So that ink is still gonna come in handy is what I'm saying. Whatever is left on my blending brush from the cheeks we can go ahead and use for the underside of the ears. I'm gonna place something heavy on top of this while that glue is drying for my sentiments. I will use a scrap piece of paper to mask off anything I don't wanna get pink ink on, and I'm adding that pink ink with my blending brush just to the underside of the ears, and it makes a huge difference in the finished design. I absolutely love how this looks. Finally, we're gonna take three heart clay confetti pieces, one for the I in the word special and two down below our sentiment strip and glue our entire panel onto a white top fold card base to finish. Thank you so much for joining me today for this heart pocket hug card featuring Mama Elephant stamps and dies. The supplies I used are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for joining me today for another paper crafting tutorial. I love being able to share with this incredible community of crafters. I want to give a huge shout out and special thank you to my amazing Patreon members. If you're interested in joining Patreon, please click the link in the description underneath the video here on YouTube. Patreon is a private community where you can support more of what I do. There is exclusive content, information, and behind the scenes content. Top tier members will receive a handmade birthday card during your birthday month, access to DStash, and monthly exclusive lives, plus so much more. We would love to have you join our growing community. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to always be notified when I have a new paper crafting video or I go live. Thank you so much for joining and we'll see you next time.